Switching up your skincare for the seasons shouldn't be overly complicated. There is a specific way to stack your skincare routine, so you literally only need three, maybe four steps, and how to transition your skincare routine from warmer to cooler weather using skinimalism and taking out all of the extra and unnecessary steps. I, your resident medical esthetician, acne big sister, and both caffeinated and sunscreened humanoid, have built three three-step routines, basically three simple steps that you can go for to minimize your skincare routine for three different skin types, oily, combo, and dry, to help you pare down and refine your skincare for the cooler months, but also stack your skincare ingredients so you're getting the most out of your ingredients and products without spending a ton of money or going overhaul on routines that you can't stick to. And this also gets into the habit of creating a skincare routine, right? It takes a long time to build or break a habit. And specifically, there is one skincare brand, Community 66. The entire name of this line speaks about that premise. They call themselves Community 66 because it's the idea that you have to spend a minimum of 66 days or two months to build a habit or a routine. Fun fact, the founder of this line actually used to be someone who worked at the Inky List and then decided to create her own stacked products that we're going to talk about, as well as how to work those in with other products from your routine, whether you have a K-Beauty favorite or something that's a little bit more expensive that maybe you got at a discount because of the Sephora sale. In addition, these three different routines include viral products that are taking over social media that experts love as well. Just because something goes viral doesn't mean it's good, but in this case, we're talking about the ones that actually are. So how do you approach a seasonal skincare swap? And specifically, how do we stack our skincare? That's a lot of S's, damn. We specifically use our KISS acronym, K-I-S-S. -S. Keep it simple, stupid. But you're not stupid, you're a skin intellectual, so it's keep it simple, skin intellectual. And the idea is that our skin is pretty smart, it knows what to do, and sometimes it has a couple of struggles that it needs help with. And that's where we can use products that are curated for our skin that work with it instead of a against it because as you and I both know, there are many products that can make the problems worse. So this is all about keeping it simple skin intellectual and each of these routines is literally three products and you can add a fourth. Community 66, who we're working with on a portion of this video, really believes in skinimalism. They believe that you need to cleanse, hydrate, and protect. So cleanse your skin, use some sort of a hydrator and protect it from the sun. I personally have a different philosophy. I like to use the cleanse consistency complete method that I created. It still goes along with cleansing, but the consistency shows how you can layer your skincare products. I specifically like to focus on treatment steps like a hydrating serum or an exfoliating acid. And then completion could be hydrating at night or sunscreen in the morning. So if you wanna break it down, make sure that you have three steps, one that goes into each of those categories. And then here is how you can choose the right products for your skin concerns and needs. Well, let's start with um, my face, which tends to be very oily. Oily skin tends to be greasy, sometimes just in the T-zone or all over. Sometimes makeup can slip off of oily skin throughout the day. And oily skin skin tends to be more prone to acne, specifically whiteheads and blackheads. Pores can tend to look more large and clogged, and if you do have oily skin, you can still be oily surface level, but dehydrated deep down. Uh, but overall, usually if you have a shiny appearance to your skin, or when you get out of the shower, it kind of feels slick, that's how you know if you're an oily person. So where do we start and what do we do? Well, we start with our cleanse consistency complete method, and I would specifically start with the Community 66 Detox Cleanser. This is fantastic for anyone who is oily and more breakout prone. You could still use this on combination skin, but I love that this product in specific stacks skincare ingredients that are made for those who are more oily to help combat oil control, to kind of clean out pores, and to help minimize the appearance of pores if this is used over time. Again, Community 66 really believes in building a habit, so what I love about the packaging is that they also have like a little size thing. I definitely am guilty of using like three times the size of this when it comes to my skincare, but this is a really great visual rule of thumb that you can follow, and this is actually quite a large cleanser. It specifically states that it's for normal to oily skin, and on the front, they show you what ingredients have been stacked so that you're getting the benefit of multiple ingredients without having to buy, you know, vials of things like the Ordinary or the Inky List, which are wonderful. But if you're trying to minimize your skincare routine, or if you're traveling for the holidays to see your family and you only want to travel with three products with you, it's a lot easier to get them all in one. This specifically has 6% glycolic acid, 2% salicylic acid, and niacinamide. So this AHA and BHA can penetrate into the skin to help exfoliate, and yes, that salicylic can help to kill acne bacteria. And the niacinamide in here can actually help with those dark spots that are left behind, but also help to regulate sebum control. This is a really beautiful formula. It's nice and lightweight. It's kind of like a gel and it doesn't overly strip the skin. Even if you are oily and dehydrated, you can use this. Whereas some like clay cleansers, I would only recommend those on oily and non-dehydrated skin. This also has mandelic acid, which is another one of my favorite AHAs. And this glycolic and mandelic blend are great for those who need that exfoliation. And again, those are more hydrating AHAs. 
sachets, whereas the salicylic is oil soluble. So it can be a little bit better for acne prone skin. And this also has a melon extract. It's specifically Kiwano melon. And I don't know a ton about this melon and how it's different from, you know, like a watermelon or other fruits. But it does show that it brings a good antioxidant boost to this cleanser. And overall, I absolutely love this. This also removes makeup. If you wear heavy makeup or heavy sunscreen, you might want to use some sort of an oil cleanser. Community 66 does have a makeup removing cleanser that you can also get at Sephora. If you wanna go like K-Beauty, the Hamish All Clean Balm is also really good. You know that I'm also a fan of the cocoa kind. Uh, you could also just use a straight up oil. If you do have oily skin, you know, the makeup removing cleanser from Community 66 would lend itself really well to this. But once you've cleansed, whether it's a double or single cleanse, it is time to treat. When it comes to treating, you have options, depending on if you're looking to combat things like acne or if you're just looking for brightness and skin luminosity. If you do have more breakout prone skin, I would highly recommend either the Paula's Choice or the Peach Slices Toner. Both of these are toners and you can use them before a serum or again, just without a serum completely. The Paula's Choice is one of my favorites. It is a BHA toner, so it's great for blackheads and acne, but it can be very strong. If you're looking for something that is slightly more gentle, but still really potent, a little bit more calming, the Peach Slices one is alcohol free. It's also a third of the price. This also has AHAs in it and Centella. So it's a little bit more soothing to the skin. Both of these are fantastic options. You can choose the one that's best for you. But if you're not looking to combat acne and you just have oily skin, maybe you're looking for something like a glow, I would highly recommend a vitamin C serum. The True Skin Vitamin C Serum is a really great option. That one is made for oily prone and acne prone skin. Another great option is from Beauty Pie. Uh, the Beauty Pie Youth Balm is what's in my current routine. It also has a blend of ingredients that are fantastic. But this is where you can kind of play around. And if you want to have a ton of fun, I would recommend something like a night mask. This is the Glow Recipe Watermelon Hyaluronic Clay Pore Tight Facial. This is not just the Glow Recipe Watermelon Jolly Rancher product. This is actually a clay mask that is really great. I wouldn't recommend this mask for oily skin that is dehydrated deep down. I would recommend this for oily, hydrated, greasy skin through and through. And again, it's because it has these clays in it that are really good at wicking away hydration. This does have hyaluronic acid in there. I feel like that's more for skin support as opposed to, you know, really adding hydration to the skin, especially because it's a mask, you put it on and wash it off. If you want to use this on your nose area, if you have little blackheads or large pores in this T-zone, this is going to be phenomenal. The AHAs in here and the watermelon is what they tout. Again, this has antioxidants and exfoliation benefits. You would only want to use this a couple times a week, but overall, this is a fantastic choice that plays really well with a cleanser and could be, you know, a once or twice weekly thing in your oily skin routine. And of course, you know, we have to look at the complete step, which for us means either SPF during the day or a moisturizer at night. I love this SPF from Murad. This is the oil control mattifier. This is the SPF 15 PA++++, but they now have an SPF 45. If you are oily and if your makeup melts off your face, this works so well to combat that because it really does smooth over the skin and pores and it stops makeup from slipping and sliding. It kind of wicks away that oil. And then it does give you this broad spectrum protection against the UVB burning rays and the UVA aging rays. But at night, I'd actually recommend this Biosance product. This one is a little bit more expensive. If you do want less expensive options, the oil control moisturizer is phenomenal. It gives me a very similar feeling to this, but it is made specifically with these ingredients for acne prone and oily skin. But this one is the Squalene and Probiotic Gel Moisturizer if you are looking for something that hydrates but doesn't exacerbate oily prone skin. As you can see, this is really a nice, kind of like a light gel texture. It really blends into the skin nicely. Now again, this does have that squalane in it, so do be aware of that. It does have an oil, but I find that this does work really well for oily prone skin, especially because it's lightweight. The Community 66 one, again, this is really good. I do absolutely love this, but even though it is a drier after feel, it has a thicker texture, if that makes sense. As you can see, it's not a gel, it's more of a cream. And once it soaks into the skin, it kind of gives you a more velvety matte feel, whereas this does give you, you know, a more hydrated feel, but both of them are really good for controlling oil. It depends on what sort of finish you want to end up with your skin. Now, what if you have combination or sensitive skin? Baby boo, I got you. And again, you know it starts with a good cleanse. But before we talk about products, what exactly is combo skin? Well, combo skin usually has dry parts and oily parts, usually in different areas. You might get occasional breakouts and blackheads, but usually they're kind of centered to the forehead or the chin. And some people really experience a lot of dryness around the cheek area or sometimes even around the corners of the nose. When it comes to pores, they're normally a little bit smaller than people who are more oily, but you may still have some visible pores and you may specifically deal with sebaceous filaments. They're not exactly blackheads, but they are like these little congested areas that look like they're popping through the skin. If you're a sensitive prone person, you may get red when things touch your face. You may be very sensitive to heat or certain ingredients or things like fragrances. This one unfortunately isn't available at Sephora, but this one is available from 
Korea. This is the Pure Am or Pure I Am Purely Me Cleanser. This has amino acids. It's a mild cleanser. This is safe for acne prone skin. It does have a very, very mild amount of acids that help to exfoliate, but it also has this dandelion post biome technology. So it helps to support the skin. There's no artificial fragrance in here. And I find that this is excellent for more sensitive skin types. I'm all out of it. <laughs> this has been amazing. And it's been a part of my skincare routine for about a month. I love the founder Jean and her story of why she created this line. I love that it's K-beauty that's built with purpose and that it's available here. It's inexpensive. It's really effective. I absolutely love this, especially for combo skinned people. And as a bonus, if you are someone who deals with those little sebaceous filaments, this cleanser is fantastic for those. Again, super gentle, but the BHA in here is just enough to kind of get in there and help break them down. After cleansing, you know it's time to treat. And again, we have options. I have a toner as well as a mask that you could use. If you are looking for something that is skin supportive, antioxidant rich, if you live in a very polluted city, maybe you're looking for a little bit of hydration that doesn't make you overly oily. The Papa Recipe Essence, the Noble Rot one is phenomenal. This is a K-beauty line that was literally made by a father for his daughter who had eczema in Korea. And he saw that she struggled so much with sensitivity for her skin. So if you're super sensitive, this is what I would recommend. It is amazing. You can put it directly on your hand and then to your face, or you can use something like a reusable cotton swab to apply it. Overall, this is so great. It adds hydration in just the right areas, but not too much. And then because it is so rich with antioxidants, it has this noble rot, this basically ferment that grows on grapes. It is really hydrating and wonderful to the skin. They call it lifting. This is not Botox in a bottle, so don't get it wrong. But I would say that it is nice, lifting and skin supportive. And if you're worried about sagging skin, premature fine lines and wrinkles, this can help rehydrate them. Now, if you're not as sensitive, but you are just more totally combo, this right here is wonderful. This is the Pacifica Wake Up Beautiful Sleep Mask. This has quinoa, this has mushrooms, this has floral stem cells. This is wonderful for anybody who does have combo skin through and through. A sleep mask is kind of like an extended wear moisturizer. You could use this once or twice a week, or you could use this as your moisturizer at night if you want to. I really find that this formula is gorgeous. It lends itself very well to combo skin. And if you are oily or dry, again, depending on what cleanser and treatment step you're using, this could play well with both. It has avocado oil, it has shea butter, but it's nice and lightweight. It doesn't feel overly greasy on the skin. So this is wonderful for some of those nights where your combo skin is acting up. And of course, the most important step is complete. You know that SPF is our BFF, but we also have a moisturizing option if that's your thing. This is the Everyday Mineral Moisturizer SPF 30 from Community 66. And again, this formula has stacked ingredients. It is a mineral moisturizer. So if you are combo or sensitive, this is wonderful. People who have more sensitive skin can sometimes end up having their skin burn or get irritated from chemical slash organic filters. So if you use an inorganic or mineral filter, that's a really great way to kind of mitigate that sensitivity. And this sunscreen specifically has zinc oxide at 14%. So again, if you're sensitive, if you've got a damaged skin barrier, or if you're just combo through and through, this is fantastic. The zinc oxide in here is of course what prevents against the UV rays, but it's also paired with niacinamide. This is our vitamin B3 that is wonderful for skin. And the reason that niacinamide is so great for combo skin specifically is because niacinamide helps to regulate sebum control. If your skin is overproducing sebum, it helps to decrease that. But if your skin is dry and irritated and not producing enough sebum, this helps to balance it out and increase that production to a normal level. Niacinamide is also an antioxidant, so very skin supportive. And we know that antioxidants actually boost up sunscreen as well, helping them fight against free radicals. So this is a winning combination. For $30, this also includes hyaluronic acid, which we've actually spoken about recently. I took hyaluronic acid out of my routine. I used to have a dedicated step to hyaluronic acid, and I found that I was just carrying around so many bottles and I was using so many different things. I was like, there's hyaluronic acid in so many of my products. Why am I focusing on buying a separate one? And I have purchased the Inky List's hyaluronic acid before. I've purchased Isentree's hyaluronic acid, but this is the exact reason that I don't use a dedicated step anymore. It's because hyaluronic acid is wonderful. It is skin supportive. It is wound healing. Our body makes it naturally. But when it's in so many products already, I don't need a dedicated step. And that's the idea of skin minimalism, skin minimalism. Get products that are stacking ingredients so you don't need to buy them separately. So instead of like a niacinamide serum and a hyaluronic acid serum, this sunscreen has both of them in there. And I'm trying to think if I have another sunscreen recommendation that actually contains niacinamide and hyaluronic acid. I don't think I do. This one is $30. It is an absolute winner. Sometimes mineral sunscreens can be difficult to use on black or ebony skin. I have only tested this on my skin. I have not put this on anyone else yet. I have recommended it to many other people though. I would say if you're a Fitzpatrick one through five, it's totally fine. If you do have black, beautiful ebony skin, you may want to patch test this first just to see if it's going to work for you because it is a non nano zinc sunscreen. I want to make sure that it works for everyone. Community 66 and Sephora 
Sephora says and shows that it does. Uh, but with full transparency, I haven't tried that yet. So if any faces that are Fitzpatrick type six want to be a volunteer, I kid you not, please let me know because I would love to try this out on you. But of course, this is for the day. What if you combo and sensitive and need something at night? This is fantastic. This also works really well under makeup if you did want to use a moisturizer under your sunscreen during the day. This right here is from Good Molecules. And what I love about them is that they are really transparent about their ingredients. They're made in San Francisco. They're a little bit more eco-friendly. Oh, open class on me. Oh no. Oops. This is specifically a silicone free priming moisturizer. This feels just like a skin primer. If you were to use a primer to combat your combo skin before applying makeup, that is what this feels like, but it adds a little bit of moisture. So it's nourishing to the skin. It's supportive to the skin, but it doesn't make you overly greasy. And it's not one of those moisturizers that gets chalky or cakey on your skin. And then it just kind of clumps out. This has ingredients like shea butter, like macadamia and sodium hyaluronate, which is the kind of sister form of hyaluronic acid, which is what's in our sunscreen. Sodium hyaluronate is a little bit less expensive. Dr. Shereen Idris did a great video on the differences between them. I think they're both fine. I personally haven't noticed a huge difference in my routine, but if you're using, you know, a moisturizer SPF during the day and then, you know, a regular moisturizer or something at night, both of these work well. And especially if you have combo skin and you're looking to wear makeup and you're going out for dinner or to a club and you want to look cute at night, this is the primer for you. This lends itself so well under makeup. I know I said primer, it's a moisturizer, but it's basically a moisturizer primer in one. This is fantastic for night. This is fantastic for day. And of course, we can't forget about our dry and mature skin babies. Those who have the flakes, the peels, or the fine lines and the wrinkles that need a little bit of plumping, a little bit of hydration. Especially during the winter, a lot of people kind of end up in this place. And um, I've got the perfect things for you, boo-boo. Dry skin specifically feels tight. It lacks kind of this elasticity. If you get out of the shower and your skin kind of feels tight, kind of like a tissue paper, that's how you know you have dry skin. And of course, if you actually have like flakes falling off your face, uh, you're probably dry. It can have a rough texture. Uh, you can have itching. Sometimes there's a lot of redness and again, you know, kind of this flaking and irritation that occurs. Usually with dry skin, pores are not as visible, but unfortunately a lot of people with dry skin trade out the large pores for the dry flakes, especially like around the corners of the nose, around the corners of the mouth, especially around the eyes as well. If you are really prone to like crow's feet and like wrinkles, of course there are dynamic and static wrinkles, but uh, for people with dry skin who are dehydrated, a little bit of surface hydration can really help to plump some of those wrinkles up. Of course, you know we have to start out with a cleanser. This one is a little bit more expensive, but it is so good. This is from Shawnee Darden, who's an esthetician. This is at Sephora as well. Again, if you get it on sale, that is even better. I would highly recommend getting this on sale. But this is the cleansing serum. It is literally like this serum texture, but in a cleanser. It is silky, it is smooth. This removes makeup and sunscreen really well. You could of course pair this with a cleansing balm like the Balm Voyage from Wander Beauty, which is also good. But I feel like this is fantastic and it's made by an esthetician who really understands and cares about skin. This has ingredients like oat kernel extract, which have beta glucans, which are really hydrating to the skin, especially when they penetrate deep. And then it's also got oils like macadamia and yes, olive oil. Bring, bring, call up Jennifer Lopez because this is a better product at a better price. Olive oil is not great for all skin types. Specifically, it is olive leaf extract, not just straight up olive oil. This is absolutely wonderful. And with the macadamia in here, it is super, super hydrating to skin. I always recommend the olive leaf extract over just the straight up olive oil. Save the olive oil for your pastas and for your cooking. But when it comes to skincare, the macadamia glycerides in here are so beautiful. This is a really, really wonderful gentle cleanser and it's perfect for mature or dry skin. And of course, when it comes to treatment, you know we've got options and I have two for you, depending on if you want a mask that you can use once or twice a week, or if you're looking for a serum you can use every day. This right here is the Glass Skin Refining Serum from Peach and Lily. It's not my personal favorite Peach and Lily product, but that's because I have oily to oily combo skin. I'm not dry, babes. But for dry skin, this is wonderful. This glass skin refining serum has this peach extract and this peptide complex. It is super nourishing to skin. And the peptides in here literally penetrate into the skin and like plump up those layers. It also gives you this glass skin look. This was one of the products that I think really just knocked K-beauty out of the park and like onto the internet. This has gone viral on TikTok so many times. And again, viral doesn't mean good, but this product 
product and it does give you that dewy glass skin look. And if you're dry and dehydrated, this doesn't dry you out further. It plays so well with this cleanser and with the moisturizer that I'm going to recommend, as well as the sunscreen that I'm going to recommend if you're using it during the day. But this is gorgeous. They have the large one and the little one. I would recommend getting both on sale. I don't know if Peach and Lily is sold at Sephora. I know it's sold at Ulta. Still worth it, even if you don't get it on sale, but you know, I'm a budget babe making recommendations to other budget babes. So if we can save some money, that's what we're gonna do. Okay, okay, mission accomplished. Now, if you do want a mask option, there is this one. It's from Milan Gotez. This is the Detox Face Mask. And this is excellent for dry skin. This is a hydrating, foaming face mask that is so fun. And especially if you are someone who lives in a polluted area, you have fine lines and fine wrinkles, um, you do get kind of those little flakes. This can kind of help to hydrate and exfoliate those off without aggravating the skin. I love this and I don't even have dry skin. I got this on Amazon. I also found it at Marshall's, so you can get it many different places. I absolutely love this, especially because it like, it bubbles up and it foams up. I'm literally going to leave this on my hand for the rest of the video because it is so wonderful. But it's this nice hydrating, silky kind of cream. And then it literally fuzzes up on your face. It just kind of helps you kind of just get, get all the dryness off, get some hydration in there and get some skin support. You see how it's already foaming. This has ingredients like soy, it has pamphlet, it has squalene, it has Camilla, so many great antioxidants, and look at how it fuzzies. It's just such a fun mask to use. I genuinely adore this stuff, and I don't even have dry skin. Okay, listen, we're gonna do some ASMR. You ready? It's kind of like shaving cream in a way. You know what I'm saying? Like a hydrating shaving cream. And what about sunscreen and moisturizer? I gotcha, boo boo. If you are looking for a sunscreen, this is inexpensive, but wonderful. I specifically got this one on Stylevana. Unfortunately, it's not available at Sephora, but I'm sure that there are other sunscreens you could use at Sephora for dry skin. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, although this is a combo skin recommendation, it works for the dry and oily parts of the face. You could use this as a dry skin sunscreen if you wanted a mineral option. This is a chemical slash organic option from Korea. It has these Korean filters. It's the Sun Project Water Sun Cream SPF 50 PA++++++. This is so good. It's extremely lightweight, but it doesn't dry out the skin. If you're super, super, super dry, I would recommend using some sort of thick cream underneath this because it is so light, but this is nice and hydrating while it's light and um, it lends itself really well to dry skin types. Do you see how beautiful beautiful that is. Actually, you don't because it's like invisible, which is what makes it beautiful as a sunscreen. It's a non-sticky texture with mistletoe and soybean and soy in general is wonderful. It's a great antioxidant and skin support ingredient, especially for those who have dry skin. This is fantastic. And if you're looking for a K-beauty dry skin favorite, I would highly recommend. And of course, for the evening, we need a good night cream. This is specifically the resurfacing night cream. And if you have dry skin, babes, we need some resurfacing. If you have mature skin, fine lines, wrinkles, just dryness, one of the best night creams that I have found. This is phenomenal. This night cream again has stacked ingredients. So this has licorice, this has retinol, this has niacinamide. So instead of buying a niacinamide and a retinol separately, this has it in one and it's formulated in a stable way that actually works. As you can see, this is a bit more of a creamy formula. So it is very hydrating. But what I love about this is that it plumps up those fine lines and wrinkles, especially if you kind of have them around like your crow's feet area. I love using this as an eye mask. I've recommended it as like an eye mask or an eye cream so many times. And all of the Community 66 products are also fragrance free. So again, they're great for sensitive skin. And if you have dry skin, this is phenomenal because the retinol in here is gentle enough, but still effective. And the way retinoids work is that they penetrate into the skin and they coax your skin to make new, better skin cells. Absolutely wonderful. It does say that it's for all skin types. And while you could use this for all skin types, for oily skin, do you see how it gives this sheen? I wouldn't recommend this every day for oily skin. For combo skin, you could use it on like your dry areas. I love this for a dry skin face, although they recommend it for all skin types. Read the reviews. I think it's perfect for dry skin or for mature skin, fine lines and wrinkles. This stuff is bomb. It's also got goji berry and rice and caffeine, which is again why I love it as an eye cream. The caffeine in here helps with the puffiness. The retinoid helps with the wrinkles and fine lines. And then the licorice in here helps with the dark marks and the purpleness, especially if you do have like dark marks or pigmentation, post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation or post-inflammatory erythema. The licorice in here plus the retinoid, this is a amazing, one of the best Community 66 products. And all of these routines are simple. Remember, K-I-S-S, -S, keep it simple skin to 
sexual. You can switch things out depending on what you need. If you're looking for a glass skin serum versus if you're looking for a detox mask, or if you're looking for acne support with or without BHAs, you can swap these out based on what's best for you. Again, a huge thank you to Community 66 for partnering with us on a portion of this video and allowing me to make these videos and do giveaways for you. Again, I'm dead serious. If you have a Fitzpatrick type six and you wanna try some of these sunscreens, I would absolutely love to get your opinion, as well as if you are somebody who has a specific skin condition or concern and you're willing to test different products, I would love to see how those work on your skin to get some anecdotal feedback because I have my skin and I have my friend's skin and I have some clients and patients' skin, but um, that doesn't always cover the entire gamut and the many various things, conditions, and quirks that make up us and our skin. And always remember to love the skin you're in, stay hydrated both inside and out. Is that not the funnest? Always remember to reapply your sunscreen. I would highly recommend this mineral moisturizer, SPF 30, that we spoke about. And overall, remember to be beautiful both inside and out. Keep it simple, skin intellectual, and I will see you and your stacked skincare routine in this next video or on Instagram. If you want to tag me with your skincare routine or on TikTok, I have been reacting to them again. So come say hi. I love you beautiful butterflies and I can't wait to see you in this next video. <laughs> love you guys. Bye.